So, with the recent Crash Bandicoot leaks, it also seems that some information has been revealed for the future of Spyro. Let's talk about it! Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy A here, and back with a Spyro video, and yes, any chance that I can to talk about my purple boy, I most definitely will. So over the past few days, the new Crash Bandicoot coming out allegedly in 2020 has had leaks start popping out from left, right, and center. One of those leaks mentioning where you can play as Cortex in bonus levels, and there also being different masks with different powers. But the biggest reveal here is the fact that it will be a brand new Crash Bandicoot game coming out in 2020. With that said, what does that mean for Spyro? Actually, it causes a chain reaction of educated extra populations and information. It's funny because these Crash Bandicoot leaks do indirectly affect Spyro. But how do they? The first is the fact this continues the pattern that we have been talking about for, well, almost two years. That Crash and Spyro will reciprocate year to year. The reason being is because Activision has followed yet another pattern, which is that they release at least one family-friendly game per year. This has been followed to a T for the past decade. Originally, that spot was filled by the Skylanders franchise, but over time, as their popularity went down, Activision shifted to Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon to take the spot of Skylanders. So if Crash is coming in 2020, that would mean that Spyro would be back in 2021. Now with that said, because of the success of both Crash and Spyro, we can assume that the studios have started on the next projects as soon as possible to get to figuring out what they were going to do. It would seem that CTR is going to be the last of the remakes and that we will be looking forward to brand new adventures with both Spyro and Crash Bandicoot. Evidenced by one of the theories that we have had on the channel since day one. Whatever happens to Crash, happens to Spyro. Now CTR was an exception to that rule because, well, scheduling issues. You know what, that's for a different video. So if Crash is getting a brand new game, then so will Spyro. Now don't believe my theory of the brands running side by side moving and working in unison? Then how about one of the heads of Activision Blizzard? During the Activision Q2 call of the 2019 financial year, a question was asked about the state of the future of remakes and remasters regarding to the IP that they currently have. They responded with this answer. Hey Mike, it's, it's Rob, I'll, I'll take that one. So at Activision we have seen great results from remastering some of these beloved games over the last couple of years. You know, if you look at um, you know, Crash Insane Trilogy, Spyro Reignited, Reignited Trilogy, and uh, Crash Team Racing, they're all incredible games, and our teams have done a really great job in modernizing them, you know, for today's platform. Uh, the player response to each of these has been fantastic, and I'd say, for example, if you look at Crash Insane Trilogy, they, that one sold through over 10 million copies, so they're obviously having a big impact on our bottom line and a real impact there, but I'd say what's really important is that it's reaffirming the enduring nature of these franchises for us. And as you mentioned, um, when you look at our IP library, we think there's a lot of uh, IP in there the fans are going to want to experience again. So I, on that one, I'd say stay tuned for some future announcements. But you know, just beyond pure remasters, there are also a lot of opportunities now to innovate and think about totally new content within these IPs. So as we think about it, there's a lot of growth opportunities for the business over time within Activision based on our library of IP, and frankly, more broadly across the company, where the company you know, collectively has a ton of great IP. So overall, it would be assumed that judging by the new leaked info for the Crash game, the patterns we see and what was said in the call, 2021 will be when the next Spyro game will come out and it will not be a remake, but seemingly a brand new game. But we can squeeze a little bit more info out of all these leaks. See, there have been rumors circulating Spyro even before its launch. Some rumors said that Toys for Bob were working on some form of a new Skylanders game, when suddenly, after the initial reaction, and interest of the Crash and Saint Trilogy trailer was completely changed to Spyro. Now, how true is this rumor specifically? I am not sure, but it does tie and connect to other rumors that I have heard that overall the development time for Spyro was relatively short. But again, these 
are rumors. But this would mean that this new Spyro game would have had three years of full-time development by the time it launches, which means that overall, I think this next game will have an even higher quality over Reignited. Now there is one more drop of info that can be pulled out. That is that if this game is coming in 2021, that means it will launch on the next generation of consoles. The next generation is upon us. The PS5 and Xbox Scarlet will drop at the end of 2020, which means that if Spyro were to likely launch in September 2021, that means that the next time you want to experience the Purple Boy, you're going to need the next generation of consoles, which means you'll be toasting sheep in 4K and 60 frames per second. At least, that's what we can hope. So, overall, the Crash Bandicoot leaks, if those are 100% true, pushes Spyro to come out to the PS5 and Scarlet in September 2021, being able to run beautifully and will have more time invested into it than Reignited had. I am super hyped. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.